There's a really sad story coming out of Michigan today, and it really highlights some deep ignorance and stupidity. So Raw Story reports on this, quote, A Michigan man named David Salha, who is a not very pious Muslim, is taken aback by neighbors in his rural community who oppose his plans to build a secular summer camp for kids on his property because they think it's going to be an ISIS training camp. Come again? So is there any evidence of any wrongdoing from this guy? Any terrorism connections? Anything? Nope. They say, quote, When he was going about his way and applying for required use permits, he was shocked to discover his neighbors had whipped themselves into a frenzy and escalated a summer camp for kids into an imagined ISIS hotbed. So he said, quote, These people think because of the, c the color of your face or your religion that you're not American. Now, I want to give you some of the panicked residents and what they said. Quote, Carol Sappington said her fears were stoked by what she heard on the news. I have heard on the news that in every state in the United States, we have an ISIS group. I think the citizens ought to keep an eye on what is developing. What news are you fucking watching? It must be uh, either Fox News, and even they I haven't gone that far, I don't think. Maybe One American News Network, the thing that's to the right of Fox News? Have they even gone that far? What the fuck? Are you watching World Net Daily? Are you reading World Net Daily? That's total horseshit. An ISIS cell in every state. And there's an ISIS cell in every state. The things fucking people believe. Uh, one of his neighbors called for a federal investigation of Salha. Quote, is there anything written on paper that says this isn't going to be turned into a terrorist training facility? Oh my god, the fucking ignorance. Oh my god. Now... What's the real reason behind this camp? Quote, according to Huffington Post, Salha, who has a family of mixed religions, and remember, he's not even a pious Muslim, he has a family of uh, mixed religions, wanted to open a site for his son and daughter to bring their scout troops and also rent it out to other youth groups as an income stream as he nears retirement. Aha! We got you! So you're not working with ISIS, but you are working with Al-Qaeda. Look at this bullshit, man. Seriously, and this is how people are thinking. This is why we covered the story the other day uh, in, I think it was Texas, they're uh, fighting a Muslim cemetery. They, they're, just, they're just saying, hey, could we have a cemetery like you guys have a cemetery? Nope. They put a fucking pig's head and dump pig's blood on the ground to say, fuck you, to Muslims who just wanted a cemetery. They probably thought that, ISIS training camp! They probably thought that uh, as well over there. This is seriously what we've come to. So what happened? Now you're going to say, these people were so over the top that obviously they're not going to win. The County Planning Commission, the County Planning Commission, that's the name of the commission, voted 4-3 to three to deny Salha's permit request. The paranoid idiots won. No evidence, presented no evidence. Just stereotyping the fuck out of him. <laughs> and they won. Now, by the way, the term Islamophobia, it is overused, and I've talked about that before as well. But this is Islamophobia. This is just bigotry against somebody who's of the Muslim faith, where you say, by definition, they must be in ISIS because they're, they're a Muslim. This is real bigotry.